Jedlika. I'm a graduate student at the University of Washington with the Clean Energy Institute. Today we're going to be building some solar spinners using your solar spinner kit. And the idea is that these will spin when we introduce a light source, ideally the sun, but strong enough lamps will also work. And so in order to build these, we're going to need a few materials. First thing we're going to need is a small motor. We're also going to need a double-sided foam disc in order to adhere the motor to the solar panel. We'll have our solar panel, which is going to provide us the electricity for our motor. We have two pieces of copper tape, which will allow us to attach the wires to our solar panel. We'll have the bottom of a petri dish in order to protect our solar spinner and keep everything together. And then we're also going to use this small to toy wheel as a base for our solar spinner so that it has something that it can spin on. So the first step in building this is we're going to take our motor and we're going to take our small piece of foam tape. And we're peeling the backing off of one side of the foam tape and we're going to attach this to the motor. And you want to go ahead and press down pretty firmly to make sure that that disc is stuck on the motor. And then we'll peel off the other side of the foam tape. Now we're going to attach our foam tape to our solar cell. And we want to make sure that the copper dots on our solar cell and the wires on our motor are facing the same direction. We also want to make sure that our motor goes as close to the center of our solar cell as possible. That way it doesn't wobble when it starts to spin. So I'm going to lay the solar cell on the table, center my motor, and then press firmly down. And I should be able to flip this over and shake it and still have the motor attached to it. You'll notice that your motor has two wires, one's red and one's black. The direction of the wires doesn't affect um, whether this works or not. It will just change the direction in which the solar spinner spins. So in order to make this easy for me, I'm going to attach my black wire to the positive side and my red wire to the negative side. And so I'll do that using the copper tape. It's important to make sure that the metal part of the wire is touching the copper part of the solar cell. So the first thing I'm going to do is attach the copper tape to the wire. This will allow me to guide the wire into position better. And now I'm going to place it so that the metal part of my wire is over that copper dot and press down firmly on the tape. You may notice that over time, the adhesive on the tape starts to wear off and the tape may peel back. This will slow your solar spinner down, but you can always just press down firmly or use a different tape to uh, go over top of it. Now I'm going to attach the copper tape to the wire. And now I'm going to guide my wire into place so that the metal part of my wire is over that copper dot. Now that my wires are firmly attached, you'll notice that there's a gap in between them and that the copper, wire, the copper tape does not touch. It's very important if it touches, you'll short circuit your solar cell and you won't get any, um, any spin out of it. So now we're ready to test our solar spinner. So we're going to take it over to the light. We're going to turn on the light and it should spin. If it doesn't spin, go ahead and make sure that your copper tape is connecting the wires uh, firmly to the back of the solar panel and that your, your wires are touching the copper circle on the back. Once you have that working, you can go ahead and take the Petri dish and you're going to attach your, your solar panel and spinner to the Petri dish. So we're going to lay it so that the motor is sticking up out of it and we're going to take some scotch tape. And we'll use this to tape the panel to the bottom of the Petri dish. And 
So now you can see that it's not falling out of the petri dish and that we have this nice protective shell over our solar spinner. So the last thing we're going to do is we're going to take our toy wheel and go ahead and put that on the axle of the motor. So now we're ready to test our final solar pin spinner one more time. So we'll go ahead and set it down underneath the light, turn on the light, and it should spin. You can also use decorative streamer like this in order to um, decorate your solar spinner and give it an added bit of sparkle. If you use this, you want to make sure that you don't cover the top of the solar spinner with the streamer, otherwise it can black out light and it won't work as well. I hope you enjoyed this activity. Thanks for joining us in building solar spinners.